Thanks, Scott. Some good news for farmers this morning. Financial disaster assistance is going to be made available from the federal government to farmers that suffered property damage as a result of the devastating floods. Dennis Morris with KLEM Radio of Lamar's shares more details with this week's Agriculture Report. Farmers with flood damage to their farms will want to report to their local USDA's Farm Service Agency office in order to qualify for some flood relief funds. Kurt Gosh serves as the Iowa FSA's chief ag specialist for conservation and compliance. He says there is an established plan from the U.S. Department of Agriculture that will offer financial assistance to farmers with flood damage. One of the programs that we have available to producers and landowners is a program that we call the Emergency Conservation Program, uh, or ECP. And ECP is designed to take land that has been affected by the floodwaters and return it to the pre-disaster condition. Gotch says that the Emergency Conservation Program is broken down into different categories depending upon what type of property damage has occurred from those floods. Gotch estimates that the total damage from this year's spring flood may actually surpass the damage estimate from 2011. I do know in 2011 we requested $11.1 .1 million for the counties there along the Missouri for that flood event that we had in 2011. So it, it would appear that in some cases this event could exceed that request. Some kind of counties may not need as much money as they needed in 2011, but other counties might need significantly more money. Well, that's kind of yet to be determined, but we are definitely looking at all of those, getting that estimate into the national office so that our national office can then work with lawmakers to get those funds to us to utilize. No deadline has yet been set as to when farmers need to report flood damage, but Gosh says that farmers should visit with their local FSA office as soon as possible. He suggests farmers bring along photographs or other documentation showing the extent of damage caused by the floods. For KCAU 9 News, I'm Dennis Morris.